Hello again, friends. It's Brian Godfrey, your Medicare specialist from Key Retirement. Today, we're taking a look at a popular question. How often can I change my Medicare supplement plan? Great question. It's important to know that Medicare supplement insurance or Medigap isn't bound by the same enrollment periods as original Medicare or Medicare Advantage. That means that you can apply to change your Medigap policy at any time of the year. But there's a catch. Outside of your initial Medigap open enrollment period, insurance companies are typically allowed to use medical underwriting. So that means they're going to look at your medical history and ask a bunch of questions, look at your prescription lists, and they can charge higher premiums or even deny coverage based on your health status. Let's take a look at the different enrollment periods and let's say thank you to Aetna for producing this handy visual. So your initial enrollment period, that is the seven month window, which starts three months before and lasts three months after your 65th birthday month. Your Medicare supplement open enrollment period is the six month window starting your birthday month and continuing five months after. This is a little bit deceiving because the insurance companies will typically give you six months in advance of your 65th birthday month and they will pretend six months earlier is already your birthday month. So what that means is if you are the kind of person like me who likes to get things done ahead of time so you can just forget about it, make sure it's off your list, then you can actually apply for a Medigap policy six months before you turn 65 without having to answer any health questions. Zero underwriting, which is great. You're guaranteed to get it. All you have to do is sort through the 30 or 40 companies offering Medigap plans, find the best rate, the best ratings and so on. You sign up, you pay your premium and you're in. Now the premium you pay six months in advance is gonna cover the first month that coverage takes effect and that coverage will coordinate with your Medicare start date. And it'll also coordinate with any other coverage you might be disenrolling from. This way you're never double covered or undercovered and you're never double paying for the same time period. When you apply for a Medigap policy during the open enrollment period, you are going to be charged the same premium as a perfectly healthy person, even if you are not perfectly healthy, because that's the rule. And while technically you can apply to change your Medigap policy at any time, it might be more challenging to switch after your open enrollment period. And that's why it's crucial to make sure you choose carefully when you first purchase a policy. Anytime you want help comparing the different companies out there, I have professional software that makes it really easy to do that. It keeps track of the monthly premiums and history of rate increases, the company strength and so on. Just give me a call, book an appointment on Zoom with the links below, no obligation. And my services are always free. Why? Because the insurance companies factor my compensation into the premiums you pay, whether you use my services or not. So why not put me to work for you? You're already paying for it. And keep in mind when you pay your premiums by going through me, you can earn tuition rewards, which helps your loved ones pay for college. So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more helpful information on Medicare and retirement. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.